Okay, now we've imported the drill holes and we can see them in 3D and you can see that I've also created a uh, stratigraphic pile by going to formations. These are the formation that we've imported. Okay, uh, we have seen also how to create them. You go to formation and create in case you want to create them manually. But if you have them and you define them inside the drill holes, uh, and you can import them and they're going to be ready. So all you have to do is to go to stratigraphic pile, uh, manage. And in here, you are going to tell uh, GeoModeler which one is actually on the top of the other. So also you define which one is eroding the other. So in, in this case, the F1, F2 are eroding... Um, the, the others and we have the F5 eroding to all the others are uh, on lap this one is the oldest one this one is the newest formation and we've seen that also in the in the drill holes if you go to drill holes let's speak uh, this one for example you can see that the F6 is is in the uh, on the top it's in uh, the one in the where with the yellow color and uh, it's this one is on the top also, we got that in uh, the stratigraphic pile. Now, we are going to take a look why we've created these uh, cross sections. So, before we do that, let's, let's go and plot the drill holes in 2D in here. So, how do we do that? To do that, we go to this button in here, which is Project Data onto Section in 2D Viewer. So, we are going to project the data in 2D section here. So, click on that. And you can see that we have the 2D section, the drill holes, contact, 3D point, and stuff like that. And this is the maximum distance of projection. It's set to 1. So the drill holes are, are actually located on the topography. So 1 is good. But sometimes you can increase this one if uh, they don't actually, maybe the data are not really that good. So sometimes the, the, the drill hole is not actually on the topography itself but in our case everything is good so these are the formations that uh, the data relate, related to these formation that I want to project on, on in 2d here so let's just click on ok and you will notice that we have the drill holes maybe they're not clear in here so let's go to drillings and appearance maybe set this to 1 apply and now set it to uh, 20 set it to 20 and click on apply maybe let's try something bigger like 100 for example yeah they're cl clear right now uh, very cl clear in the uh, 3d view in here so uh, this is just to show you that we have uh, we can see the uh, drillings in 2d view but now we don't we are not interested actually on the top view let's open all of these sections you just go and double click on these sections they're gonna be opened in 2d and in 3d you will notice that these sections are actually created uh, in a way that they intersect uh, some drill holes okay so that's what you want to do because the same thing here the project data onto 2d view works on sections too Let's go to this one, for example, and do that exact same uh, thing. Click on Apply and click on OK. If the distance is 1, because we have these are perfectly on the section, we don't have to worry about uh, making bigger distances like uh, uh, 5 meter or 10 meter in order to project that into this section. Okay, so uh, now it's it's looking good we can see the formations in here so all we have to do right now is to guide you modeler in order to uh, create all of these uh, formations in here so to do so we go to this section in here and we are going to pick the uh, create line tool and we are going to tell uh, you modeler for example that uh, now we're by the way let me just check what are we digitizing in here let's go to formation uh, stratigraphic 
uh, pile manage. We're digitizing, digitizing the bottom of formations, okay? So let's go and digitize, uh, for example, the bottom of this one. So we are going to do this, click there and click in here. And we are going to tell Geomodeler that this is the bottom of the F2. And let's go and make it model constructor in here. So you can choose, like I said in the past, whether it is inferred, observed, or whatever. But we are going to use model constructor there. Pro almost the same thing, but uh, just to use it as a reference for you, model constructor is just uh, something default that I use. Uh, now for the orientation, I'm going to make that associated and make it orthogonal to the uh, this one. So let's create that. You can see that this is orthogonal to the uh, the contact data that, I, that I've created. Okay, so let's go to the second uh, section here. Do the same thing. We are going to project all of the data, and you can see we have that same formation in here. What we can do is we go to here and digitize these to tell you modeler that this is actually the bottom of that formation associated and create and we got that now let's go to here and project that again click on ok and digitize the bottom of that formation and stop there and go and tell you modeler that this is the bottom of that formation click on ok and now here is what we want to do. Let's see if Geomodeler is actually going to be able to build the uh, the same things here in these uh, sections without actually telling it that uh, the contact there. So uh, because in the drill holes, all what you need is just uh, one contact, which is actually uh, in the drill hole. Geomodeler can. Uh, can actually understand that this is the contact between these two formations and one orientation so we gave Geomodeler additional contacts and additional orientation uh, data so let's go and try to compute this model so we go in here because we only have data uh, about the F2 we are going only to see the F2 let's select everything here and select all the drill holes and click on OK Geomodeler now is going to calculate that and let's try to visualize what we have created. So let's set it to uh, medium maybe and click on OK. Now Geomodeler is going to uh, calculate that. And you can start to see that make this shading. This is actually that formation. And let's go and do, because this one is the bottom, so uh, Geomodeler is actually going to calculate that as our uh, bedrock. So let's go and click on this one, or click on this one first. So we want to plot the lines that represent this model in here in the 2D section. So let's click on OK. You can see that Geomodeler actually have created this line in here. We can see that it is wrong in this one but we are going to fix that when we are going to digitize this formation so uh, if we go to the ones that we uh, we haven't uh, digitized anything this is actually that formation that we've created let's go and plot the line that Geomodeler have actually created you can see that that's nearly perfect and we can view that same line on this uh, section in here uh, let's go and that's also nearly perfect. That's why I really like Geomodeler. So now the next step is we are going to do the same thing in the other formations.